creative mode is one of the main game modes in Minecraft. You have no helm for hunger bar since you're invincible. You have the ability to fly, and you have access to every single item in the game. So once my friend True started his one week school SMP where he will be hacking, I knew it would be the perfect place to secretly use creative mode for the entire week and counter True. Three, two, one, go. Ah! In order to gain access to creative mode without being operator, I would need to use command blocks. And perfectly, while I was out an hour ago helping True with the server, I secretly planted command blocks in this 1000 by 1000 border where I can go to toggle my game mode. Since for the next 7 days, True is secretly going to be hacking to kill everyone. So to stop him, I knew creative mode would be the only option I could use to stop True. While heading to one of my command block areas, I needed to make sure I reached it without being spotted. Otherwise, my mission of stopping true would be compromised before it even begun oh what there's someone right above me i think they left i can't be spotted bro i gotta be like out the way oh there's someone right here oh there's a few people this way i just can't go anywhere without seeing anyone i mean this basically means everybody went this way so our true's right there <laughs> Killing True won't stop him since this SMP has no gimmick, meaning the only way to stop True would be trapping him permanently or banning him using books that carry too much data inside them. In order to obtain the items required to do this, I would first need to secretly reach my command blocks and go into creative mode without anyone following me. And with everyone else across the map besides True, I would need to keep killing True until he redirects himself away from my command blocks. Okay. I put the creative spot like right underneath this lava. Wait, Drew's back here. What? Oh my God. Dude, I have to kill him again. Oh, he's right here. <laughs> oh my God. Hey, if I break one of these, is she let me get up here, please. All right, all right. He's right there. There's a door. <laughs> get out of here. All right. Now he's not here anymore. Okay, well, no, it's just right here, isn't it? All right, boom. All right, all right, all right. We are in the secret laboratory. I'm scared to flip this lever because it might not work. All right. So I guess it's now and never three, two, one. Oh, bro, I'm in creative. Oh my God. Bro, I'm in creative. Bro. Oh my gosh. Now that I have obtained creative mode against True's hacks, I won't take damage. I'll have the ability to fly and access to every single item in the game. But I need to be careful not to reveal any of this or True will instantly break my command blocks and ban me from the server. Meaning I will need to hide all of the obvious ways True could catch me, starting with gear. If I have way higher levels of gear than everyone else on the server, then it would be very obvious to tell I didn't gain any of it legitly. So as the days progress, I will need to match my armor with the other other players around the server to not be suspicious we, we, we can't be obvious about this all right so i only have creative i don't have up so i can't get out without using the survival switch all right so you have the survival and creative so we always have to be here or always have to come back here we need a couple of items all right all right so now we have this looks like a reasonable kit. After completely securing the room and updating my kit, I went hunting for any signs of True in his bed location to attempt to permanently trap him. But it turns out, even with the border being 1000 by 1000, I still had zero luck finding him. So I decided to log off for day one, and on day three, I logged on with a brand new plan. The plan was to fly invisible around the 1000 by 1000 border radius, looking for any bases I could find, to attempt to return once True logs back online. I can look around like, this. first i can see is there oh what there's a base here okay let me write these chords down like i gotta get everything down if i see anything i'll just write it down oh what i looked away on my screen for five seconds there's a full base here anyone here right now oh oh my god oh my god they're right there okay i'm gonna come here i'm gonna come back here later what can't believe that's there now that i found these two bases explored this entire border and have an entire clear map of the world using my map mod all i have to do now is wait for true to log onto the server then check every base and kill him to locate his spawn point in the meanwhile i use this time to collect all of the essential advancements update my kit and even build fake structures to plan excuses for having stacked items but it took waiting a whole day until i saw true online for day four and decided to check every base in case i could find him and permanently trap his spawn point okay we are here on the next day and true is on we saw some bases yesterday so if he lives you know where we expect him to then it should be easy to kill him 
uh this is not it i don't see anyone here like where else could true be like i'm gonna actually be sad if true isn't here i guess true isn't here like i i don't know what if he lives in a village i guess that's like the next thing i could check i decided the next reasonable place true could be is a village since at the start of servers villages are necessary for gearing up efficiently so i decided to approach the last unsearched village in the border in hopes of finding true there's <laughs> 12 entities here oh there's like nothing here enchant table brewing stand i don't think none of his friends and i already do that this can be true it's what the oh my god oh my god Oh my gosh. What the? Okay. I wasn't expecting that. Bro just took no fall damage. Oh, his armor. Oh, what? Oh my god. Bro, what? Where did he spawn? This is, this is my chance. This is my chance. This is my chance. Oh my gosh. Which one? Was that the left? Did you just try both? Um. Wait, what? The one question I had in this moment is, how did True even get away so fast from Pearls and a Trident? Well, I got the answer. True apparently just flew away. This is a huge issue. True now knows that I'm attempting to trap his spawn point. Meaning if I kill him, he could just fly away to stop me from even attacking him. There's only one way I'll be able to keep up with True next time I see him. And that's using an elytra, which is the only way to fly in survival Minecraft. Because if I fly in creative, it'll be pretty obvious. But in order to obtain an elytra, I would need to secretly grab it from creative mode since it displays an advancement that wasn't possible to obtain in this 1000 by 1000 border. So I decided to log off the server for a few hours and wait until nobody was online. Oh my god, no one's on. Oh my gosh. I can get Elytra. Yo! With the Elytra now in my possession, I can now chase True when he attempts to run. But I have no idea where his spawn point is. Because True most likely moved it far in a hidden location. I decided the only way I could figure out his spawn location is if I make a deal with him stating he can't have a spawn point anywhere. Meaning his spawn point must be default to spawn. And you know I can just trade him whatever he wants because you know I have access to literally everything. So on day 5, I met up with True to present the deal. You know what? Yeah, I'll tell. I'll take it. Now, the deal with True was a success. So, the only location he'll respawn is World Spawn, meaning I can easily trap the spawn radius and book ban him off the server. But remember how I said True was hacking? And you know, I haven't necessarily showed you that yet. Well, I think the deal I made with True was a little bit too suspicious. Because, bro, is following me back using hacks while invisible. If True decides to attack me, I'll be guaranteed dead. Since I just gave him stat gear and he can just turn on his Killora. I also can go back to my creative center to save myself because my plan of secretly using creative will be exposed so all i can do is hope i escape true without being killed otherwise he'll complete his main goal of killing me bro is following me bro is following me and i don't have an e-chest i know i'm not i just saw him flying in this i just saw him fly in this i just saw him fly in this i swear his name just went invisible those are particles in the air. Those are particles. What do I even do? What do I? E I see the particles. Bro, this is the perfect time for a portal trap. I need to go to the portal. Oh, here, here it is. All right, all right. I heard him again. All right. Oh my God, he pruned. I just heard that. He is around here, bro. He only has one way out. What? What? Bro, what? No way I just lose him like that. I may have lost True here, but bro didn't lose me for an entire hour. Like when I tell you bro wouldn't just leave me alone and stop following me, it was getting a little crazy. But eventually I made him run out of invis, so I finally escaped. After this entire chase with True, I realized the suspicions on me cheating were dramatically increasing. Since the amount of gear I was given around the server was a little drastic. I still believe that there is no way in hell whoever got that golden apple was like, got it. 
and legitimately. This now means I have a very short amount of time before my creative operation gets discovered and I get permanently banned off the server without stopping True from ever hacking again. So on day six, I knew this had to be the official day I boot banned True off the server. With True not having a bed spawn point anymore, long story short, I made the world spawn function to only spawn True in one location, meaning I can leave the book bans on that one available location so when I kill True, he'll get instantly banned. So with the book ban in play, the arena laid out, and all the creative items I can use during this fight, I was ready to book ban True off the server once and for all. Before this battle begins, please subscribe. I'm in a sub race with my friend Render to 500k, and we are currently destroying him. If we win the sub race, Render will do a face reveal. So if you want to see that or just are enjoying the content, please subscribe. You won't regret it. But back to the final battle against True. So this is my base, and pretty much I have a bunch of shokers right here. But the deal is, you have to fight me right now. I'll let you equip this stuff and stuff, but you have to fight me here. I'll I'll do it. I don't have space in my inventory though. All right, well let's fight. All right. Uh, oh shoot. All right, see so if I got quick drop. What are you talking about? You're playing so bad right now. What? <laughs> You're playing so All right, bad right bro, now. Really hacking. What? That's not real. What? <laughs> Bro, you're literally critting without jumping. What are you talking about? How? Nice range, oh. dude. What the? Oh, what? <laughs> what? No, I, I, I can't. I know. I, like, you already know. You oh, already know. I can't even, like. Oh, my GG's. What the? Bro, yeah, you think that's gonna save you? Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, oh, my save god. You? oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> think that's gonna save you? I'm faster. What the? No, you're oh not. My god. You're actually not. You're actually not. You're actually oh not. Oh my gosh! Oh my god! You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. There's Bro, literally nowhere in the nether nowhere for you to go. <laughs> oh my gosh! Bro, I don't know what to do. I'm going to die. This is terrible. True's final goal is to kill me. And if I die, I won't just fail the entire server, but I'll fail myself. How do I win this? I've been in many showdowns in the past, but this is my hardest challenge yet, since I'm running low on items and there isn't a way to escape a flying hacker. And apparently, as we were flying past the spawn trap, True already broke it, meaning the only way to stop True is by killing him multiple times until he physically has nothing left to fight. If there's no holding back, then I guess it's time to unleash all of my secrets in this final moment. You can't get away. I'm faster than you. This is not working for you. This is not working for you. You don't want to do this, bro. You know what? This is get not on. working for you. This is not working for you. Wait, where are you going? Okay, but let me not let you get far enough. Can I crit you through blocks? What the hell is this? What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> All right, GG. Oh, 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 my God. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Don't go to the end. You have better. <laughs> yes. No. 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 Yes, yes, yes. no. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. No. No. Oh, my God. Stop! What the? Oh my gosh! Where did you spawn? Oh, you're done if you die again, because I'm about to bedrock the spawn. I forgot that this is what I was protecting. What? Wait, what the? <laughs> no, bro. You have like. But you have like another command block. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? How do you? How? No. <laughs> Stop. Uh, Stop. Oh. Oh my God. How are you still reaching me? Yeah. Oh my God. Are you 
Jesus. <laughs> oh, you're here. Yes. Oh, I did you. <laughs> Die. <laughs> Good. This can't keep happening. Die. Die. No. No. Oh my god. Oh my. No. This is over. I am better at getting this all. This, this is over. Oh my gosh. It's over. I'm in creative forever. After fighting for three whole hours, I finally made True use every last item he had and permanently blocked the command blocks, meaning now I'm permanently in creative forever. So True finally gave up and let me book ban him once and for all. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! I actually just got Yeah After three hours If you enjoyed this video please subscribe I wanna win the sub race against my friend so uh yeah please help and uh just click the video on the screen and bye